friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Kat from Cat Paper Love. So recently I had a request from one of my followers on Instagram and I believe she's also a subscriber here on YouTube. And she wanted to know what die, cut die cutting machine I use and which one I believe is the best. I don't have that much experience to let you know which one's the best, but I know the one that I use, I could show you how I use it because she wanted some like, some idea of how to use a die cutting machine. and. I'm not an expert by no means. I've probably had mine for maybe two years, maybe. Um, and also, to tell you the truth, I only recently ha learned how to use an embossing folder on mine. But you know what, I figured you know we're all at different levels and I think it would be great and this is more of a starter video. So if you're looking into getting your first machine and um, you know some tips and tricks that I know that I could show you. So we'll just go ahead and get started. So the machine that I have is carried in this little thing. So you can see it's a smaller die cutting, die cutting machine. And the one that I have is the Spellbinder Platinum 6. So it is a smaller one. I love that it folds in. And um, let me take it out of here. So here it is. So as you can see, it's smaller, but that does not mean it's lighter. It's still pretty heavy. So it's white and it has like this kind of like gold chrome kind of color here so it's really pretty and it's very sturdy and heavy and I like I said it folds out like so and um, I recently gave it a clean although there's still glitter here from a recent project you know you have to go and clean it once in a while or, or um, I mean, it's up to you. It's more of an uh, aesthetic thing. <laughs> so this is my machine. Again, it's the Spellbinders Platinum 6. You can see that here on the inside. And when you buy it, this one I want to say was maybe $60. I probably used a coupon. Um, and you, you get it with, with the machine itself. You get your platform which is this one and what's really cool about this platform and I haven't given this a really good cleaning um, what's really cool about this is that it gives you um, like sandwiches for how to die cut and emboss and then use an embossing folder which I don't know why I never looked at this to use my embossing folder I just wasn't understanding it I guess but it's really cool so sandwiches means like you know, you're going to be using your, your base plate, you're going to be using your two cutting plates, which let me show you. And mine are pretty, um, one of them's pretty used up. That's just what happens. There's Coda hair. <laughs> so here are my cutting plates. You can see this one's really, really janky. It still works, but sometimes I find that it imprints some of this on my paper. So I tend to switch them out pretty often. Um, so when you do your sandwiches, usually you'll have your base plate, you'll have your cutting plates. Um, and it all depends on what sandwich you wanna do. This is the one that you use for when you're gonna cut paper. You have your base plate and it tells you here. You have your platform, which is this. You have your cutting plate, which is one I just showed you. You have your paper or your cardstock, as you can see here. And then you have your die and it's um, thin dies like these, which you can get at any craft store or AliExpress. There's many different brands out there. And then you have your um, cutting plate again, and that's for cutting out um, paper images or like, you know, the little die cuts. And then for embossing, you're gonna have this one, your, your die cut, which is already cut. Like you used it first and you cut it and you're gonna keep the paper in there and then you're going to use your embossing mat and this is stuff that comes with the platinum machine so you don't have to buy this separately i'm sorry the lighting's all weird let me see okay so um you're gonna have these just come with it when you purchase it so you're gonna have your embossing mat and you can see mine's really dirty <laughs> it's it's very, it's like that kind of like silicone material so like glitter and stuff grips onto it and I'm pretty sure I could clean it if I run it in warm water or something um, and then you have your uh, embossing plate which is this one 
and I think mine has these little lines because it was a little tight when I tried it one time um, so that's why it has these little lines but yeah so that's how you would emboss something and then it shows you how to make like an embossing folder and it's basically just the um, platform your embossing folder with the paper and then your cutting plate on top so that's really neat that it has this here for you and then usually if it doesn't um, the machine will come with a pamphlet or something that tells you how you can use it or um, yeah most of them should most of them should for anything like rigging it or doing something different because I've seen people like rig it or put like cardboard or something you know I don't recommend that and the probably the people who made the cutting machines don't really recommend that because it can mess your machine um, but there are tips and tricks out there if you want to check them out I'm pretty sure if you just YouTube something like that or Google it you'll be able to find something like that but um, let me show you also the bag that I have to carry all my goodies move this puppy out of the way Okay, so this is the bag that I have that carries or houses my die cutting machine. And this one I picked up from Michaels and it was a um, like an everyday value. I believe it might be recollections. It's an everyday value, so it was $5. And it's really neat. As you can see, it fits it in perfectly. It's a very sturdy bag. And then it has all these little um, compartments on the sides and everything. And this is perfect, that machine. The reason I love it, it is the first one that I got because money-wise, I couldn't afford a bigger machine. Um, and I haven't even, I do have an e-bosser, which I won't show you in this video, but it does cut bigger material. But at this time, I didn't have money to spend a hundred and something dollars uh, on a die cutting machine. So I got the smaller one and well, actually Mr. Wolfie bought it for me. But it's perfect and I love it because it folds into itself and I get to take it to crops pretty easily in this bag and it goes into my drawer in there as well. So yeah, that's the bag that I have. And then I also uh, recommend that you get some sort of poker. I got this set at Tuesday morning. It comes with a bunch of these. I think it was three of them. Yeah. So it comes with these three and they have like, you know, I use these, I have like black ones that it's just the one side. Um, and I use these for uh, when I was working with clay. So these little rounded nibs here worked really great for clay. And I'm sure there's other ways like you can use these for um, your scoring board. So I picked it up um, and these are perfect because you can poke out all the little papers from your die cut and I like doing that or, or picking it up that way and it has um, this poker right here too. Um, I know that there's the, uh, I think it's, um, I don't think it's, I think it's Sizzix. It has a tool like a little brush that you roll. I haven't purchased that yet. Um, so you could definitely purchase that but I kind of find it like relaxing to poke all the little things out. And I mean sometimes there's a lot depending on how intricate your die is. But definitely get yourself a little poker that you can get all those out or get yourself that little brush um, that you can get. And I'll link some of that information down below and the machines and everything um, for my Amazon affiliate link. Again, that's my affiliate link. I do earn a little bit off of it. It helps grow my channel, but at no extra cost to you if you want to check those links down below in the description. And then, if you saw, my dies are on this um, magnetic little plate. And it's not really a plate, it's like a, like a sheet, a magnetic sheet. And I purchased, this one was actually from Home Depot, I purchased a set of three and I cut them down and I think each one made three. Um, but it's very floppy, as you can see, very, very floppy. It does its thing. But I don't like how floppy it is. I could layer this because it's a sticky back. I could layer it on some cardstock or something to make it a little bit sturdy. But I did find some awesome ones at um, Amazon. So here's where I house my dies. And the ones that I bought from Amazon are definitely sturdier and were way cheaper. Way cheaper. Let me see if I can get one. Okay. So here is one. And you can see, look at that. It is not as floppy. As, I mean, it does give away a little bit, as you can see, but not nearly as much as the ones from Home Depot. See? Like, that's way floppier. 
Um, so I definitely recommend these and I'll leave the link down below for the Amazon because I did get these from Amazon and it did give me free shipping, which was cool. I'm not an Amazon Prime member, but it gave me free shipping and it, and it said five days, but it literally arrived the next day. So, and you got quite a few in there and you can cut them up um, pretty easily. I just use my, um, my cutting board and I mean, it probably dulls my blade, but you could use scissors too. So super easy to do that. Um, and yeah, so that's how I store them. I store them on these little um, magnetic, magnetic magnetic sheets, excuse me. And then I have this container that I picked up from Michaels. And it's really neat. Um, it's really heavy, as you can imagine, with all those sheets and then the die cuts. But it's really cool. It's per the perfect size for these, um, for storing my dies. And it has all these sections. Um, they do come apart pretty easily, but you could glue that down if you want, which is probably what I'm gonna do. And you can label them. Um, I didn't go as far as labeling them. I wanted to write the names of all the dies on the backs, but I didn't get to that point. Um, I did keep some of the stuff, like information that I probably wanted. So these are all Sizzix. And then, you know, I have them according, like different sections. Like I have like all my animals. I have like sentiments. I have um, Christmas. These have like my embossing folders. Sizzix, uh, spell binders, and then like shapes here in the back. So that's how I store it and it really works for me. And the container was really cheap when they had like the 60% off like um, uh, organization. Okay, so now that I've shown you that, I'm gonna go over um, just cutting a, f a few different things and like basically what I said to you, but just giving you an example. So we're gonna cut this guy out. We're gonna cut in that leaf. So just those two. And let me get everything prepped. Oh, and I forgot, we're also gonna emboss this uh, folder to give you some examples. Ooh, sorry about the noises. Okay, so if we follow the instructions, it says your platform, your standard cutting plate, and because you're gonna face this down, you want the one that you know you cut into at the bottom. Then you're gonna put your paper. And like I said, because this is a platinum six, the space is really small, so I just cut my paper down. And honestly, I just kinda eyeball things. I don't measure, you could measure if you wanted to, but you know, sometimes we're trying to just get things done. So we'll put our cutting plate on top of the paper. I mean, our cutting die on top of the paper. And then we'll put our other plate on top. And then you just turn it. Like so. And then be kind of careful about taking this out because I'm going to show you how to, well, actually, I'll show you the whole thing because we're going to try to um, use the embossing folder with this as well. Okay. So you see, it cut out our little leaf. And if you can kind of see, you can see that it embossed a little bit. Let's see if I can get it to focus. You can see that the little bit it kind of embossed it. And I'll show you where. So if you see this, it has this like design here on the inside. You can totally emboss this. Not all dyes do this, but if you see that there's a design in there, like this one has this little part, which would be the, the vein of the leaf, you can emboss this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this little guy back in here, and then we're gonna follow the instructions on how to emboss. So we're gonna have our platform, and then we're gonna have our die facing up this time. So you want the, you can tell where it's like raised, where the little ridges are raised. So this side wouldn't cut, but this side would. So we're gonna have it facing up instead of down. And we're gonna need our other um, folders. So it says we're gonna need the mat. So we'll place the mat on top. And then our embossing plate on top. And we'll just run this through the machine. Okay, that should about do it, but because I'm like really out of space here, I'm just gonna bring it back. 
Oops. Okay. Take this off. I'm going to use my little poker to stick it out. And as you can see, you can definitely see that now. That it's embossed. So that's how you would emboss after you've die cut. And it looks, it gives it so much more detail when you do the embossing. And I think that's super cute. So there you go. That's two steps. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you how to use an embossing folder. So if we follow the instructions, basically we're just going to need the platform, one plate, and then the embossing folder, and of course your paper. So we're going to grab this little paper and I'm just going to cut it down to size a little bit. Again, I'm just eyeballing it. You can cut this down too, or you can have it ready. We're going to stick it in here. it opens up like a little folder like that and then we're gonna put our plate on top I don't think this one did anything it didn't feel like it did Just barely. See, this is where I don't understand it. Some of these plates are bigger than others. Because for some reason, this one didn't work. And this one's by Sizzix. But this one, when I used it, it worked. If you can see, this is a harder plastic. And this is actually from Michael's, from the dollar bins. You see this? It's harder plastic. And this one is kind of like more softer but for some reason I can't really get it to work you can see that it worked like a little bit I don't know if it'll you can see it around the edge here but I'm not sure why I can't get it to work so I'm not gonna cut that out so you guys can see this is the problem I was having so I don't know what's going on but if we try this again with this folder you're gonna see that it's actually gonna work because I just did this with this folder and I was like, oh, I finally got it. I can never, never do it. So I'm gonna show you that I'm not a liar. <laughs> Again, do the same thing. Bring it back out. So see this? You see how it embossed all of this? It works with this with this folder, which is from Michaels, which is cheaper. And I it's a harder plastic, that's all I can go off by because the thickness on the thickness too. There's a bit of a difference there. Sort of. This one's a little thicker, but like I said, it's a harder plastic. So if you know why this isn't working, let me know. I've tried different things and I can't get these ones to work, but I finally got the ones from the dollar bin to work. Look how pretty that is. So that's how it's supposed to work. I'm not sure why the ones um, from Spellbinders, are, but no, these are Sizzix. Why the ones from Sizzix aren't working. So let me know down below in the comments what I could be doing wrong that this isn't working. But yes, that one did. That's what it's supposed to do. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you um, how to paper piece. So this is something different. So um, when I have this kind of die, I purchased this one from Allie. When I have this kind of die, as you can see, it's all together. Sometimes the dies come with several little pieces. Let me show you an example. Okay, so if you can see with this one, with the little... Um, the little husky here so you get his body you get like the antlers um, oh okay hold on you get his body then you get this part which is you know how the huskies have two colors this would be this part that would layer on top and then you get his nose and his eyes which is right here 
So it would go right here and right here. And then you can have these additional things. So this one would be, um, oh, and this little bit right here is still part of like the fur. That would go on this side. Here you also have like different hats. You can have a Santa hat or a reindeer hat that you can put on top. You don't have to use it. Um, it could be, you know, just plain or you can dress it up. Um, so that one you wouldn't have to paper piece. You would have to, you know, layer it and put it together. But with this one, you do have to paper piece because it's just the one piece. It's not like they sent me the eyes and the nose and these little bits and his feet. Like they didn't send me all those pieces. It was just the one and this one's from Allie. But you can still use it. You're just gonna need some good um, fussy cutting scissors and some patience. So let me show you. We're gonna start off with white. And of course we gotta set up our sandwich. This video is getting a little long. We're at 21 minutes, but we're almost done. Let me cut this out. Okay. So here it is. And you can see this little piece. That's the eye that just like popped out. So we're gonna use our little handy tool here to pop him out with all these little holes in the back. That's what those are for. Okay, so here's our little toucan. So you see him? But you see how it makes all the divisions here? That's what will make it easy to paper piece this together. So this is our first layer. Next, we're gonna need some black. Again, we're just gonna cut out the whole thing. So here he is. You can see this time the little eyeball stayed there. We're just gonna pop all these out so it pops our little die cut out. Okay. So we're gonna use our fussy cutting scissors. You can look at a picture of a toucan to give you an idea of what they're supposed to look like. You know, the colorings of a toucan. So I'm gonna need this little beak piece. We're gonna need this part right here. Because you know, just their belly is white. So I take this part. Oops. I think I sort of messed that up guys because it should have been we don't need this piece should have been this whole thing right here see if you can see this little bit of him on here on the side so this would go here so can you kind of see that starting to come together Okay, but you need even more. Now we're gonna need to die cut it again, but I don't wanna waste that much paper. And I just need his beak to be orange. So that's all I'm gonna die cut. How do I do that? I'm gonna put the paper down and just eyeball that little piece. Just put it right on top. this piece and pop this out like that don't need that piece and we'll just leave it like this it'll just be thicker there okay so this would go here because that's his beak his beak is orange then you got the rest of them. Now you see him coming together, right? Now that I'm doing it right. <laughs> like that. So you can see it is a ton of work, like a ton. And then, you know, the little piece right here for his beak is black. There you go, that's right. 
So you would think, well, now you should be done, right? No, not really. Not really, guys. Because I would even then go and cut some, like, orange for his feet. And you see these little, like, you know, I would do the orange for his feet. And then you see these little lines here. I would cut that in white because the toucan has some, like, white markings. So as you can see, it's a lot of work to paper piece. And I don't want to take up much more time because it's at 30 minutes already. And then you would also do his mouth and then put the black on the back of his eye. But that's pretty much how you paper piece. It's just step by step by step. And that's it, guys. That's what I have so far for my um, die cutting machine tips and tricks. Just a little bit that I know. Um, again, I am not a professional. I am not an expert. But I hope that it does help you. And if it did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't because there's way more videos coming out. And if you ever have a request or a question or anything like that, let me know and I'd be happy to create a video. Up next will be how to make a shaker like the card that I did. You guys wanted to see a tutorial, so I will have that for you. So I hope you liked it and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!